Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a balloon question mark hat. This is perfect for somebody who doesn't know what they want and it's a great way to just let everybody else know around them that they couldn't make up their mind. For this shape, you're going to need your handy dandy balloon pump, one 260 size balloon twisting balloon. Both of these items can be found using the links in the description below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for some more business and balloon content. Grab your supplies and let's get started. For this shape, I'm going to inflate it almost all the way. I'm gonna leave about two finger lengths of tail at the end. So once you've inflated your 260 balloon, you can measure the head of whoever you want to make this hat for. I'm going to make a mark right here where the nozzle touches. I don't want it too tight. Sometimes you can leave a mark on a kid's head if you make it too tight. So don't make it too tight. I'm gonna measure it. Right there, I grab this nozzle right here while I'm holding the rest of the balloon where I marked it. And I'm going to twist this big loop around while I'm still holding on to the nozzle right here. And that automatically creates a twist in the balloon right here. I'll twist it around a few times and then I'm going to stick my nozzle through the loop to lock it in place. Now what we need to do is create a right angle out of this. So instead of this balloon sticking straight out, we want it facing up. So if you can guess what we're gonna do to make a right angle out of that, go ahead and do that right now. For those of you who don't know, let's make an ear twist right here because an ear twist will make the balloon go in a 90 degree angle. So we're going to make a one inch bubble and we're going to fold the balloon down so that this one inch bubble is on top and we're going to use our thumb to put pressure on this part of the balloon. The reason we put pressure on this part of the balloon is because we are actually gonna be pushing the air through towards the tail. If you put pressure anywhere else, there's nowhere for the air to go, so put pressure on the side of the balloon with the tail on it. We're gonna put pressure right here on both sides and we are going to lift up this one inch balloon and twist it around to create this ear twist. So this creates that 90 degree angle in our balloon. So instead of facing out, it's going up. So to create this question mark, we can manipulate this balloon without adding twist into it. And so that's what we're going to do to make this question mark shape. So at first I want to kind of determine where I want this balloon. So I kind of want it in this shape. So right here, I'm going to make a bend in the balloon and I can hold it down right there and squeeze this, this bend and like pinch it and twist. That is going to create a bend in our balloon. You can kind of squeeze it with this hand as well. So that's another way of creating a 90 degree angle in a balloon. So what we wanna do now is create a, kind of a rounded shape. So what I'm gonna do is create kind of like this corkscrew shape uh, with the rest of this. And I'm gonna squeeze the air back and forth uh, throughout this balloon. So I'm gonna squeeze with one hand and then squeeze with the other hand, kind of alternating. I'll tighten the twist and loosen it, tighten it and loosen it. And that gives us more of a rounded shape. You can see it's not exactly even, so I'm going to just kind of move it uh, so that it's kind of more vertical and it's not uh, out of line. Um, so, and you can keep doing this to, you know, this is a pretty big bend. Uh, I'd like it to actually be a little bit tighter. So I'm just gonna keep doing this a couple times until I can get uh, more of a tight bend in the top of this question mark. So this right here is your completed question mark hat. Thanks so much for watching. If this was helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for some more balloon and business content. If you really wanna show your support, feel free to buy me a coffee using the link in the description. It's five bucks and it keeps me motivated to keep making these videos for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Joey, I'll see you next time.